hello welcome back to my channel today is the last and final puzzle from the american girls collection mini puzzles and that is samantha and while of course she is one of the original dolls um she just happened to be last in this set um, again i'm not fully sure when i received my samantha doll but i will say i have now owned four samantha dolls in my lifetime uh, the first one Again, unfortunately, I sold um, along with Molly and Kaya. Samantha was sold as when I was like, I'm not going to be doing dolls as a teenager. That was a big mistake because I, I don't, I think I must have had an early, early Mattel or late pleasant company Samantha because now every time I try to find a Samantha she's never my Samantha and I'm probably just making things up um dealing with you know residual guilt of selling her but I really haven't come across a Samantha that really looks like my Samantha and then when the be forever Samantha came out that was that was not good and I don't know, even the 35th anniversary Samantha didn't really speak to me, so I, I'm not quite sure what Samantha doll I had, but in my mind she was perfect, and um, that's about it. <laughs> she was absolutely perfect, and for some reason I gave her away. And now I'm suffering those consequences. Uh, so yes, I have... Um, since selling my Samantha, I have uh, purchased I purchased one off of eBay, and that was an adventure. It was in her original outfit, which was nice, um, and her, but it didn't have her original shoes. Her shoes were definitely not the originals, um, which was interesting. I don't know why I just tried to do that. I meant to grab that piece because I was like, oh, I can pick that piece out really easily. Um, but her hair was so frizzy. So, so, so frizzy. Um, it was actually really, really bad. Um, and so I, I never really connected with this new Samantha I had bought. I mean, thankfully, I didn't pay too much for her, um, more than I should have. But it wasn't, it wasn't like a, I broke the bank account, which I know sometimes happens when you're trying to find um, older dolls. Um, but no, I never really connected with the, with the doll that I bought, and I, then the. Be Forever came out. I wasn't interested in her. Then the um, 35th anniversary doll came out. Wasn't really interested in her, but because of all these dolls that had come out, um, I had a friend who really did like the 35th anniversary. She wanted the 35th anniversary doll. And so she had this extra Samantha and was like, hey, you know, do you want her? I know you've struggled, you know, connecting with a Samantha. And I said, yeah. So she sent me a picture. She was beautiful. I would still argue not my Samantha doll, but she was beautiful. And so I kept her. She has, um, so this doll that, um, was given to me. And yes, she was given to me. This, this friend has just been so so generous with um, the giving of dolls. Um, she, she, this doll has, the wig, her wig is coming off, which is part of why my friend was getting rid of her or wanting to get rid of her. Um, I've dabbled a little bit in like repairing dolls. And so she's like, well, you know, I want her to go to somebody who, you know, will love her. And take care of her and I know that you'll fix her up real nice and she's like you know what and if you don't want her you can sell her and I'm like wow okay great um so that that was just been really awesome um so she's packed up right now 
Um, I actually still do have my super frizzy hair, Samantha, in my mind. I'll, I'll eventually fix her up a little bit better for selling um, and try to recruit, recoup a little bit of the money I spent on her. Um, but she's, she's not ready at all for that. Uh, one day, one day she will be. That's not right. There we go. So, anyway, um, Samantha is a very interesting character to me. I am very surprised with, like, how much she gets away with a lot of her antics and her storylines, um, it just always surprises me that Grand Mary is so, so just awesome. But I think, I really do think it's a story of um, developing feminism and helping friends out. Um, she learns a lot with her relationship with Nellie. And I do have Nellie as well. I would love to get this dress for Nellie one day. Not that it, like, I'd have to get, either I have to make it or a seamstress would have to make it for me. Um, I do have the Buster Brown. I don't know why they call it Buster Brown. It's a gray dress but whatever <laughs> with the beautiful black bow um this is one of my favorite dresses it's very school uniform like and I just really like that um I really love this time period um but I think that's because some of my favorite books are like The Secret Garden and A Little Princess which is around the same era so um that's my story with Samantha um and yeah that's the last puzzle so um, hopefully the next time you see these puzzles, I will be in my new house and I will be, um, designing mini boxes, um, for these puzzles so that my dolls can have a puzzle collection of their very own, um, just like I do. So thanks for watching this series. Um, I know this isn't everybody's cup of tea, but I've enjoyed sharing a little bit about some of my first dolls, um, and the historical characters. Um, so thanks for watching, and I hope to see you again soon.